Hey guys, let's talk about UAD processing. Uh, in this uh, topic, I'm going to see how to edit, uh, edit in the format uh, this uh, web documents. So, by starting, we start seeing the concept uh, of web processing. What is web processing? Now, web processing, this is, is the process of creating editing, storing, and the printing type D documents. So the process that involves creating a printed D document or a D document, editing it, storing, and the printing it to get a, a hard copy is what we call word processing. Now one is able to write text, store so it, so it electronically, display it on a screen, or modify it by entire commands and the characters from the keyboard and print it. So all these features are what can be done in a word processing, word processing program. Let's see the importance of word processing. Uh, the importance of word processing as well as the first one that it saves time. As the word processing helps users to prepare, to prepare uh, various documents. So it helps to help these users the preparation time more efficiently by letting them modify materials instead of creating new ones. So it saves time. So writers can also make corrections to word processing documents more quickly than they could be on a typewriter or by hand. So word processing is very useful. The second one that it enhances document appearance. As the materials created with the word processing software looks more polished and professional than the handwritten or typed materials do. It's not one that allows sharing of documents, as word processing allows materials to be shared easily among the writers. Uh, also, users can exchange lesson plans, worksheets, and the other materials on this can modify them to fit their needs. The other one that it allows collaboration of documents, especially since the release of these Google Docs allows to create, edit, and share documents synchronously. So all these are just a few of the importances you get from the word processing program. Let's see our activities today. The first one is we're going to try to start or create a word document. Then you will see how to save a web document. And the, the last activity which we have is the ending a web processing program. So by starting, let's see how to create a web document. There are various ways which you can create a web document. Uh, I will discuss two ways which you can simply create your web document. Starting with the first one, that is You have to go to the start. You go to the start menu. In the start menu, there to the search, you can simply search the just word. So if you just write word, it means that it will appear there that Word 2013. So this, if you click it, the Word document is going to open simply like that. So that's the first way in order to open a Word document. Then when it starts to open, you click on the blank, blank document. Then in this blank document, you can write anything. Then that's how it is that it will be open. And if you want to maybe save this document, there is a shortcut you can use it simply as Control S. If you just click that Control S, this menu will appear and you can just create, uh, you can just select a place where you want to save your document. But also you can just see, click the part their file, then the same menu will open, you go to servers, then you browse it to where you want to save this kind of a document. So that's how you can save the document easily.
uh, the other way. So here you can just write whatever the name you want and the location which you want to save. Then you click save. For now, I want to save the document. So this is the first method for now to create a web document. But the other method is that you can right click uh, on your mouse. Then you go to the new part. Then you can just select there to the Microsoft Word document. So after creating there, you just write the name of your Word document. Then you enter. Then the Word document will be created. So that's easy way also on how to create a Word document. So here you have it, your Word document will be there and the how to end your web document simply after saving maybe a simple shortcut that control plus s then you can just close maybe you have written something then closing you need to save so we just save it then the web document will be clear and it will be made already with various document which you want to write so I hope it's clear we've talked about these three activities that are creating or starting a web document, saving a web document, and the ending a web processing program. So that's all for this video. I hope it's clear. Thank you for listening.